Good morning, Plum here playing World of Tanks. And we've got a replay for you. This is the WZ131 driven by Smack 12 12 12 12 12. I want to say that as Smack 12 12 12 12 12. Going off into the distance <laughs> for some reason. Um, and as you can see by XVM here, I want to show it to you. Uh, it's a reasonable chance of winning this match, mostly due to the um, other players on his team. He's got a, um, a rating of 647, which is probably below average, to be fair and a uh, win rating of 48%. Only played 5,000 games, I'm sure those numbers are going to increase as he plays more games. Um, but we're looking at a player here that uh, doesn't often have the best of luck and uh, it's all going to turn around for him in this match as you can probably tell. I'm showing it to you. Get a shot on that LTTB. It's a comparable tank, the LTTB, to this uh, WZ131, the Chinese light tier 7. Which one would I rather have? I've never driven a WZ131. I've driven the LTTB on the test server. <laughs> that was about two years ago, I think. And I loved it. Absolutely loved the LTTB. I like the way it twists up your tongue when you try and say it quickly. Too many T's. Although you can never have too much T. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> tea jokes. <laughs> they really do honestly make me chuckle. <laughs> anyway, we are... We are prompted on this corner here, and we're, at, we're struggling a bit. We've got some serious tanks. It's like our own little tier 7 game, because if you haven't noticed it, it's a tier 10 match, and there's a lot of tier 10s in this game. Whoa! We annihilate the M41 Bulldog. That was a cracking shot. This gun is very flexible on these uh, light tanks, I find. And the Leopard 1's come around behind us and hasn't seen us. Oh, now he's seen us. Oh, now we're in trouble. Where's he going to go? What's he going to do? you got an E100. you got an L... How on earth can he survive? <laughs> How does he survive this encounter? Holy cow! Come on, reload. Come on, reload. That leopard must have been there. No, he's still there, the leopard, for some reason. <laughs> We've now got ourselves a wreck. That was nicely done. Ooh, and he's being fired at. Here goes the E100. Leopard 1's going to no doubt reload any second now. Doesn't normally miss the Leopard 1, but he doesn't reload quick enough. And we've secured this flank. Holy cow, that happened very quickly, all of that stuff then. Whew. Fortunately, it seemed, maybe the Leopard 1 was distracted. I wasn't going to mess around with the camera angle to find out, but I assumed the Leopard 1 was distracted by those other tanks and didn't have a chance to actually... Uh, can we kill him? Can we kill him? Oh, we've got to shoot the Leopard 1. Want to get this kill? Want to get this kill? Yes! That's going to feel good in your Tier 7 light tank. <laughs> Annihilating a Leopard. Ah, now you can have a cup of tea. Doesn't matter what happens. <laughs> okay, we've got some serious tanks over there now. There's the GW Tiger P. That thing's easy to pen for this gun. The E100 with this gun. I don't know, we've got the APCR loaded. What's the pen in again? If you aim right for the centre of that hatch at the back, I believe that is a more of a weak spot. I have to check on the uh, uh, tank inspector whether that is actually a weak spot. Um, I'm trying to work over the E100. This is where you're going to rack up some serious XP shooting tier 10s. Um, can I see the pen, please, on the APCR? <laughs> Done it again. <laughs> yeah, 241. That is pokey, isn't it, for a tier 7 light tank? Damn. Three kills now in our little tier 7 light tank, and we're up to over 2,000 damage done. 2,000 already, and the match is only three and a half minutes old. Holy cow. I think this is going to be a pretty short game, um, so I think we'll have time for another one after this. And uh, this is a uh, new sender inner. Smack 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. Um, so maybe the next one should be a regular, just to balance the books. Come on, come on, come on. Hopefully the... Oh yeah, we do catch him. That huge um, sort of fin on the back of the... Uh, Alpha 100 does allow us to get the shot. We're now getting some more damage done. More damage done. Oh, this is glorious. <laughs> We've only got 33 hit points though. And, oh god. This is tippy toe stuff. And we, we have barely moved, have we? We've just stayed at this building the entire game. Got our 33 hit points. Thanks very much. That's all we want. Who's going to kill him? Surely someone's going to kill him with 33 hit points. You've just got to like stare at him intently and he'll die. Ooh, that was close. His gun was pointing at us in, wasn't it? We do have six cents. Okay, we're going to go for the other artillery. Is the other artillery prepped and loaded for us? Can't quite see through the building. 
Is he going to be pointing his gun this way? Are we going to get more damage done? No, he's pointing his gun! He's pointing his gun! <laughs> Don't go around there. Ah, oh, that's a bit tricky, isn't it? He's barely going to have to... Just, I think if he just fires his gun, the sound wave is going to kill him. <laughs> With 33 hit points, his whole crew will just be knocked out. Yeah, that's the right decision. <laughs> and you could try and fake it. You could try and prompt the corner and just hit the brakes and make him fire. Maybe. Don't know. Maybe now's the time to go back. Break contact, turn around, now drive back. Just go steaming around that corner. Or go so far around the other side of those um, train carriages, just to the south of him here, that he could, uh, or to the north of him. Um, uh... Ah, oh. oh. that's sad, isn't it? So we did two thousand seven hundred damage in that game, and easily uh, one of the better tier seven light tank games I've seen in a tier ten match that's been sent to me. That was a uh, cracking performance on that flank. He absolutely owned it. I think he should have died at about two minutes in. That leopard probably should have prioritised him. <laughs> He's asking, please win this. Please win this, I want the XP. Because he wants a WZ132 next and he wants it and he wants to get all that lovely, lovely uh, bonus for having done so well. We'll see what his XP was. I can imagine it's been quite good. There's nothing more satisfying in a game of World of Tanks, being the underdog tank, being a tank at the bottom of the list in the team at the start and finishing top of the list. I imagine it's going to have bumped his stats up this game. <laughs> He's now going to be a, a green player. Incredible. What a cracking performance by <laughs> Smack. 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. Good name. Why is it Smack 12, 12, 12, 12? Oh, I'm reading that wrong. Smack. Hang on. 12, 12, 12. Yeah, it is 12. You could say Smack 1, 21, 21, 21, 21, 12. <laughs> I'm obsessed with his name. <laughs> you guys and your tank names. Right, where is this uh, Waffle Tractor Alpha E100? He's around here somewhere. They're fairly mobile, but they're not exactly uh, a bat chat, are they? Let us watch the bat chat. I don't think watching the FE3805 is going to be half as much fun as watching the bat chat. We're going to start capping. I mean, obviously the bat chat can get back to our base in time. I'm going to hit the uh, speed up button. Probably should have done that two minutes ago when he died. <laughs> they think he's over there. Keep keep trucking, that chat. Keep trucking. Position yourself in the middle of the map. <laughs> Get a lot of viewpoints, but then you get probably shot. Yeah, he's only got 300 hit points, so uh, two shots maximum. Oh, one shot. There we go. <laughs> that happened so quickly I couldn't even slow it down. Anyway, let's take a look at his post-game stats. Surprisingly, no hero medals for that performance. It seemed to be very heroic to me, <laughs> but nothing there. I might have to stick one in there myself. Put a little graphic in there for some sort of medal. A plum medal in the shape of a plum. Um, it gets his ace tanker, gets duelist and fighter and also fire for effect. A nice take home of 45,000 with 4,398 XP and quick look at the detailed report shows us 2199 times 2 yeah, 4300 16 shots fired direct hits 14 and he managed to uh, penetrate 13 of those shots he was firing at a lot of uh, equivalent light tanks at the start and the leopard and then the sides of artillery yeah he was lucky actually with the tanks that he had to shoot at the uh, e100 could have been problematic but he did have the apcr and it did work in its sides so that all worked out beautifully uh the only downer I suppose about the whole game was that he got killed before he could uh, get the clean sweep and come out the other side smelling of roses unfortunately uh, team scores and he gets uh, 1466 XP more than 400 XP more than the next one's team even that was a uh, type 61 so uh, damn good game there by uh, the smaller lighter tanks in the uh, the team uh, but particularly smack 12 12 12 12 12 12 uh, 2700 damage done and uh, even that put in third in a tier 10 game in his tier 7 light tank. So that, that, that does deserve a round of applause, I think. Um, really, really cracking game. You must have been absolutely beaming at the end of that game. With that performance, I'm glad you sent it in, mate. Thank you very much. 
Right, let's uh, roll over and have another game in uh, one of our regular subscribers. Who's it going to be? Let me just dig out an email. Okay, on to the second game, and this is Bad Captain. He's only had one replay on the channel before, but uh, since that first one I showed, and the first email he sent me, he sent me a few more, and uh, I've actually had the pleasure of playing with him in the last few days. Uh, I normally, when I do have a game of World of Tanks, I'm on quite early in the morning. It's the most opportune time for me to have a game or two, literally, and uh, it seems to be the same time that he's always on as well. Um, he's also part of the uh, Beeskit clan, and uh, he actually told me that... Uh, Drive by Tank, who's been on the channel a fair bit and does send me lots of emails, which I'm always very grateful for, isn't actually playing at the moment. He fell off his bicycle and broke his collarbone. So if you're watching this, mate, I hope you uh, feel better soon. Really sorry to hear you won't be uh, taking part in the uh, ranked battles that uh, I've signed up on your team, haven't I? <laughs> so I was hoping to play one of those this evening and you'd be in it as the commander, but uh, apparently you're laid up and you can't use your right arm. Or is it your left arm? I'm not sure which arm it is, but... Uh, Real inconvenience for you. I'm really sorry that you've hurt yourself. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it wasn't your fault. <laughs> Unlike car crashes, where there's repercussions, maybe on bicycles, it's not quite the same. Do you need insurance if you're a cyclist? Don't know. You can answer that in chat, mate. If you can type. I'm not sure you can type, though. Get get your mum or your dad or your brother or your sister or your girlfriend to t <laughs> type a response in chat. Tell us all how you are. Anyway, we're with Bad Captain, one of his mates from the Beeskit clan. And uh, this promises on paper to be a bit of a... <laughs> Bit of a buttock clencher, <laughs> it's the best way to put it. Um, and clench! <laughs> you don't imagine me doing that, it'll put you off your breakfast or your dinner or your tea or whatever you're doing. Um, so he's in the M46 pattern, tier 9 medium tank. And uh, I've got one of these and I, always, <laughs> I roll around with the derp gun fitted because I still haven't got the top gun on it. I, just, I, know, I need to play this tank and get this top gun on it because uh, the 90mm uh, sucks. <laughs> it really does blow. But um, I think with this one, what is the top gun on this? Because I haven't actually got it yet. I'm not that familiar with it. The 105 is what you're after when you're playing this tank. Uh, standard shells, 218 penetration, 390 damage. Pretty decent for a tier 9 gun. Got a T55A over there. We've also got another equivalent M46 pattern. It's not me, is it? <laughs> it's not me. I think we would have noticed each other, hopefully, in chat on the uh, screen, on the uh, team scores. Well, we are definitely divided into two here. The team has divided. We've left near the base. Um, not that there is a base. Near our spawn points, the WT and the, uh, the FV-207. So we are over here doing what needs to be done, defending that flag so they can't start capping. We've got plenty of friendly tanks here. How's this all going to play out? I should have checked the uh, game time on this one. I always like to try and do that to let myself know if I'm in for a 15-minute epic. Or a really quick six minute game like that last one was. I've got no idea how long this game lasts actually. Ooh, T55A giving us some grief. You'd think that shot would have probably bounced to the front of this pretty slopey turret, but uh, apparently not. It was a regular AP round. They are getting their tanks down into the flag. Uh, get across there, get across there! Oh, we take some damage to our tracks. At the moment, it's all going like a pretty ordinary game of World of Tanks. <laughs> We're struggling. Oh, we get a nice big hit into the T-54. Can our T-54 finish him off? He does. And now we come up behind the WZ-120. This is exactly where you want to be. We quickly get some damage done. And now, suddenly, you're probably thinking, Ooh, yeah, we can do this. We've now suddenly got momentum on this side. Our poor Leopard PTA has only got a few hit points left. We've only got 771 hit points left. We are going to have to be conservative with our hit points. We're going to have to use these ridge lines effectively. Which there are plenty of on steps. Steps, isn't it? Yeah. Map names. Come on, poke out. He's fired. He's fired. Right, we can get one in the side of his turret. Nice hit. One more and we can kill him. No need. Our leopard PTA on his sliver of health manages to do the job. Right, they've still got more tanks than we have, though. Yag Tiger. You've got to get that guy to turn. Face the PTA. Right, he's turning. Get down there. Get beside him. Get beside him. Get right up next to him. and <laughs> Stop him from turning. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> poor Yag Tiger. Ooh, we nearly hit our object 704. I don't think anything can stop a Yag Tiger from turning. <laughs> They're just too powerful tank. You want to get an E100 set next to it, that might stop it from turning. Or a mouse. Squeak. One of those big mice in the game. 
When you get two mouses in the game, is it? Are they mice? When you get two mouses. Look, mice coming over the hill. <laughs> Rather than mouses, plural, not sure. When it happens, I'll decide in the game. <laughs> so we're waiting now for the enemy team to come and show up. They need to come because uh, we're capping the base, and in 1 minute 26 this game's all over. I don't think it's going to go to plan, though, unfortunately for our team. So far we've racked up 2,000 damage done, recorded, and uh, managed to hang on to our 771 hit points. That's all we've got left. Unlike World of Warships, <laughs> the crew cannot repair the tank. I mean, what could they do? <laughs> Get some chewing gum and stick it over the cracks. Ooh, get a nice hit into the side of the T-30. This ridge line is good for us. We've got okay gun depression. We can work this ridge line, keep our turret. That's the only thing they're going to see. Oh, we just missed a shot. That was snapped a little bit. We are using this ridge line very effectively. Oh, the AMX 1390. We do not need to be uh, flanked by him. If he's got a full clip, three of his shots and we're dead. Oh, that's a good shot into the T1. Is it T110? E4. One more please. One more please. One more. Yes. <laughs> this is some solid defence work from Bad Captain. He is digging in. That's what you want to see your crew doing. He's out there with shovels making a uh, little hollow for the tank to sink into. <laughs> digging in. I mean this is a pretty... If the enemy team with a T30 is on the minimap could also be attacking at the same time that would really confuse our friendly team because they'd be coming from all sides at once and maybe they can get cheeky shots off Ooh, get another nice shot gotta kill this AMX good stuff right T57 heavy can we destroy a T57 heavy he's backing off he's backing off we get one shot in <laughs> one more please one more. <laughs> He's trying to keep the front of his tank facing towards us. <gasps> Bounces. How long has he got? We don't know how long he's got. Uh, 32 hit points left. Manages to do it. Enlight is now dead in his T57 heavy. Whoo, five kills. The flag is still safe. However, we do have a couple of uh, very powerful TDs approaching. We can one-shot this guy if we could hit him. If we can hit him, <laughs> we hit him, get six kills, we've got top gun. An absolutely cracking game. You know, whenever I play with this guy, he always finishes higher than me. <laughs> I don't think I've finished higher than you in a game, have I? We've played about four or five games together, not many games. But uh, he has got a higher XVM rating than I have. And uh, it just always pans out in every single match. I'm there, and then he's always about two or three above me. <laughs> you can't deny XVM. So we're now last tank standing. We've got the T30. T57 heavy is not very happy. <laughs> Damn that miss and super low roll. He's been told that the uh, one of the enemy tanks, what is it, the uh, WZ131, the tank we just saw in that last video, is AFK. Just stuck where he was last spotted. So. Uh, at this point, Bad Captain said in his email, which I will read you at the end, because his email is always very entertaining to read. Um, he was absolutely... <laughs> just his heart was probably in his mouth pounding, you know, and you can feel your heart in your head pounding. That's how he feels right now. He's like, oh my god, I've got six kills, I'm carrying this match, this is epic. <laughs> Who am I going to send this to? <laughs> Hopefully get a YouTuber to commentate on it. T30 is so powerful from the front. He's going to be lucky to pen it. We've still got the AP loaded. He does have nine shells of APCR, which will give him that added penetration. How much more will he get out of an APCR shell? 218. It's down 265. It's another 50 odd millimeters. <clears throat> At this stage in the match, I would have loaded the APCR. <laughs> but it's that kind of game where you're just you're not thinking. You're just running on uh, adrenaline. Hard to imagine that just pixels on a screen can. Uh, create this much excitement for a player in the game. We've all had those games. <laughs> it's only when it's over really as well that you realise physically how draining it was that 15 minutes in that match. Astounding. We are playing peekaboo with this uh, T30. We want to catch him on his side. 
if we can uh, track him, he's got a pretty slow turning turret, it might be all that we need to do. He's keeping his head, he's keeping his head bad, Captain. Where is he? Where is he? They both want to win this, I can imagine. t fed has got two kills, having a pretty reasonable game. He is a one shot. Oh, there he is, there he is. There he is, there he is, there he is, there he is. Side of it, side, side. Beautiful job. Totally outplayed T30. T30 fell right into that. <laughs> he says his hands, in his email, <laughs> this is when his hands are shaking. Uh, can you feel it? Seven kills. <laughs> so where is this WZ131? We have got a possible <laughs> Radley Walters on the table here. Oh, there's the WZ131 and it's just a heartbreak. You weren't expecting that, were you? <laughs> oh, gutted. Absolutely gutted. He's <laughs> Can you imagine now what he's feeling? He must be just feeling absolute almost rage that the enemy team tells you something and you, you never want to believe it because it's the enemy team. And is it reasonable to assume that that guy had moved? We could see him on the minimap, he had moved. But why hadn't he come over to assist the T-30? If he'd been with the T-30 at that time, they could have stood a lot better chance of killing Bad Captain, but no, he seemed to be exactly where he'd been the entire game. Maybe he had been AFK that entire match. I don't know, had to answer the door, had to answer the phone, answer nature's call or something. And serendipity, I don't know what it is, just occurred and Bad Captain's all set to have the most fantastic game. <laughs> and he just walks back in the room, sits down at his keyboard, thinks, oh look, <laughs> <laughs> There's a pattern coming at me <laughs> with a few hit points. I'll just shoot that. Don't know what's going on in the game. Haven't been paying attention. Been elsewhere. <laughs> Fires and <laughs> oh, what a tanks! What a tanks! Let's take a look at his post-game stats. So there we go. Gets his top gun. Gets his high caliber. Picks up his ace tank and the M46 pattern and uh, a really healthy looking screen. Even though it was heartbreak in the end. It's well. He says down here, killed by a bot. The enemy team said he's AFK, but turns out he is a bot program. And as soon as he spotted me, turned his turret and killed me. RNG giveth, RNG taketh. Eh, hard to assume if it is a bot or not, just it could have been the circumstances that I outlined. <laughs> Either way, it's really, really bad luck. Uh, team scores, this should make good reading for him, even though he was on the uh, losing team. He didn't get any hero medals, did he? Oh, he did, yeah, so he got a winning XP. Of course he got hero medals. Um, the AMX 1390 had an absolute blinding game also, 1637, so a big call out to him. Um, bad captain, oh, absolutely gutted. More than twice as much damage done than your T30 on your team. And uh, a hell of a lot more XP, nearly three times as much as the Leopard. <laughs> They're the games though. They're the games that uh, we want to see on uh, <laughs> YouTube channels, aren't they? Really fantastic. Nice take home, 24,000. And a couple of thousand XP. Gutted. Absolutely gutted. Let's take a look at his um, email that he sent me. And uh, we can see what he said. Because it's, it's always amusing. Biggest heartbreak ever in all my games. So the game is on steps encounter. I went to the cap circle with a couple of mediums. Took a lot of snapshots because I didn't want to get hit. He got hit a couple of times. <laughs> then we made our move with the mediums and cleaned up the flank. Yeah, that was a seriously good bit of uh, tanking. All three of you. Was there four of you in the end uh, assaulting that flank? But uh, the other flank failed. Didn't really notice that. I was too busy enjoying your side of the game. And I took a position to defend the flag. Enemies came from all directions. I do remember that. I put shots here and there in the enemy TDs. And I spotted the AMX uh, 1390 and T57 him making a move. And I quickly engaged them, killing them both. And he almost to himself there. But things turned out okay. The waffle did not pay attention to me and paid with his life. Then I maneuvered around and fooled the T30 and killed him. Yeah, you did. Totally. Now, I read that email yesterday, so I didn't really remember the exact contents, but I mean, that's what I pretty much got across in uh, my commentary that he managed to outmaneuver him and uh, take him in his sides. At that time, you'll see in chat my hands were shaking like no tomorrow. Maybe it was visible when I was aiming at the T30. He almost missed. The enemy said the WZ was AFK, and I believe that because they said it was in the last position as it was last spotted. Truth was, he was there, but was not AFK. He was a bot program, and he killed me. Orange, you give her, orange, you take her. It's one of the most intense games I've ever had, and the biggest heartbreak of them all, especially since I would have completed the MT-15 with honours for the T-28 HTC. 
<laughs> well enjoyed. We did enjoy it, mate. Thank you very much for sending that in. Thank you for your uh, efforts in uh, typing out the English. I know he struggles with his English, so he tells me he does, but he always seems to do a cracking job. <laughs> Conveys a lot of emotion in his uh, emails, and uh, I do enjoy reading them. Whenever it's from Valkov, I think, yeah, I'm going to read this one. Because <laughs> he always writes lots. Um, thanks for sending that in. Everyone, keep sending your emails in. I'd also like to receive a tank window, please. Someone. One of you. <laughs> this is probably going to get 180 views over a few days. One of you that hasn't sent in a tank window before. Just one of you. Send one in so I can do one. I'm itching to do one. <laughs> the first one that sends in is going to go up on the next tank video. So take a picture of your rig, uh, your computer, and then take a picture of uh, the view out of... I don't care which window it is, frankly. The most interesting window in your abode, whatever it is. And um, it can go up on the next video. Thanks for watching everyone, keep your heads down, drink plenty of water, kite a pal, and I'll uh, see you again soon. Take care, bye bye.